I'm Paul Perkins with the check of your ag weather. Those slightly cooler than normal highs in the upper 70s to the mid-80s continue through Wednesday. Thunderstorms that develop along the front range this afternoon move to the east and weaken tonight. There is a slight risk of severe weather over far southwest Nebraska and western Kansas with large hail and damaging winds as the main threats. A few thunderstorms are possible for tomorrow during the day, mostly in Nebraska with a weak disturbance. More organized thunderstorms dive southeast from Wyoming late tomorrow, moving through central areas late tomorrow night through early Wednesday. Central and western areas of Nebraska are highlighted for a slight risk of severe storms, including the risk of golf ball size hail and wind gusts over 60. Low end thunderstorm chances continue for Thursday night through the weekend, mostly late day and nighttime with disturbances tracking to the southeast. Our highs warm back to more seasonal levels in the mid 80s to the low 90s for Thursday on into the weekend. In the long term forecast for this weekend through August 20th, Nebraska temperatures are likely to be seasonal to slightly cooler than normal, while Kansas temperatures are likely to range seasonal to slightly warmer than normal. Above normal rainfall is likely for Nebraska and Kansas this weekend through early next week. That's before near normal to slightly above normal rainfall the middle of next week through August 20th. Key weather factors impacting the markets include more mild temperatures and multiple rain chances moving through the Corn Belt and some flooding in China. A series of disturbances track west to east, generating scattered to widespread rain and thunderstorms. Some of the heaviest rain, locally 2 to 4 inches or more, falls around the midweek in the Tennessee Valley and nearby areas. Most other areas of the U.S. receive some rain, although mostly dry weather persists from the Pacific Coast to the western Gulf Coast. Extreme heat remains focused across the southern U.S., including the desert southwest, the western Gulf Coast, and much of Texas. In the Corn Belt, seasonal or cooler than normal temperatures benefit the summer crops, especially in areas where the rain recently fell or continues to fall. In China, more frequent rainfall this past month is favorable for filling corn and soybeans where there has not been flooding. The remnants of a tropical storm may move into northern China with heavier rain and flooding. Australia's soil moisture is slowly diminishing, and more rain is needed as wheat and canola start to wake up from the winter slumber. There might be some rain in southern Australia this week, but nothing overly widespread or heavy. A building El Nino pattern that favors heat and dryness in eastern Australia may have more of an effect with the crop going through flowering and filling, leading to expectations of reduced production. Southern Brazil early this week expects off and on rain for developing wheat, which is mostly in good condition. Rainfall may move through some of southern Brazil, where the second crop corn harvest might be delayed. With the check of your ag weather, I'm Paul Perkins.